Praise the Lord, family, and welcome to another edition of Bow to the Name. I'm Evangelist Talitha Kumi, and I just wanted to come on for a few moments and just to encourage you with, in lieu of all the things that are going on right now, um, I want to remind you of a couple of things. Number one, God hasn't changed. Number two, God hasn't changed his mind about holiness and living righteous. Number three, God has not changed his mind about the wages of sin. The wages of sin is still death. So having said those three things, let me say one more thing. God hasn't changed his mind about how much he loves you and I. He hasn't changed his mind about that. But just like many of you are parents and you love your children, but if you're a good parent, when your child is going in the wrong direction, no matter how many times you told them to stop, if they're going in the wrong direction, if you're any kind of good parent, you are going to discipline them because you know what's on the other side if you don't discipline them now while they're young because if you don't discipline your children while they're young you can forget about it when they get older you've done yourself a disservice same thing with god almighty See, God loves all of us equally. He doesn't love one child more than another. But see, many of you, you have this, you've been misinformed, put it that way. You're thinking that God, you're thinking that everybody is God's child. Well, let me clarify some things for you on tonight. Everyone is God's creation, but everyone is not God's child. Everyone was created by God, but everyone is not God's child. God has children in this earth. Satan has children in this earth. And in order for you to become one of God's children, you must be born again. You must repent of your sins and ask Jesus Christ, the son of the living God, to come into your life and be your Lord and your savior. And then once you do that, you are now God's child. See, the Bible says that we're born in sin and we're shaped in iniquity. That's why your child at three or four years old, you can say, did you do such and such? And they'll say, no, they just lied. Why? because they're born in sin and they're shaped in iniquity. They're Satan's children. That's why even at a young age, you cannot trust a child's behavior. They're born in sin, they're Satan's children. When we come into the earth, we come in as Satan's children. Help me, Holy Ghost. We come in the earth as Satan's children, not as God's children. So this is why you cannot, you cannot believe them. You cannot allow your child at the age of two and three, when they say, uh, when your young, young man says, oh, I want to put on lipstick. No, no, they're born in sin, shaped in iniquity. That is Satan at work with their minds and their identities. People aren't born 
people aren't born with with gay and lesbian tendencies they're born in sin shaped in iniquity at a very early age satan is coming at a very early age he's throwing things but see if at a very early age you introduce them to god you introduce them to jesus you introduce them I was introduced to Jesus at the age of five and six. And because I was introduced to Jesus, once I was introduced to the son of almighty God, even the little girls, when they used to come at me at the age of six and seven, we're outside playing tag. They used to come at me with those sexual confusing, but I knew no, no. I'm a girl. I'm a girl. Satan was coming because he comes after all of us. I was able to shut it down because I knew who I was and I knew my identity. And because I was introduced to God through Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit, even as I was a child, was working in me to let me know that is not the way. That is sin. I did not create you to be a boy. I created you to be a girl. Oh, help me, Holy Ghost. This went to the right. I was going in another direction, but the Holy Ghost took me in another direction. And I'm a soldier of the cross, baby. All of us got to handle it. Amen. God does not make any mistakes. And I will never, ever, and it does not matter what the Supreme Court has said, if the Supreme God has not ordained it, it is not so. And he, God Almighty, will never bless what he has cursed. Sin is sin. So God knew what he wanted you to be and what he wanted us to be when he created us. By the way, my title today is Cry Loud and Spare Not. Cry Loud and Spare Not. So I pray for, I pray for all and I have associates and I have relatives and that gay and lesbian lifestyle. I've lost friends in that lifestyle. But I pray now in the name of Jesus because God loves them, all of them. And it's not God's will that any should perish but that all of us would come to God through Jesus Christ and have eternal life. So I pray in the name of Jesus, I pray the blood of Jesus upon the gay and lesbian lifestyle. I pray the blood of Jesus upon the LGB lifestyle. I, play the, I plead the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus upon sin, period. I plead the blood of Jesus upon heterosexuals. I plead the blood of Jesus upon marriages that are living in adultery. I plead the blood of Jesus upon singles, single men that are fornicating and out of control sexually. I plead the blood of Jesus upon you. I plead the blood of Jesus. 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 I plead the blood. I plead the blood. I plead the blood of Jesus upon the police officers shooting innocent African American men. I plead the blood of Jesus upon murderers, black on black crime, black on white crime, white on black crime. I plead the blood of Jesus now. I plead the blood of Jesus upon 
the, the officers that were innocently killed. I plead the blood of Jesus. 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 And I submit to you all Give your life back to God through Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Because he loves you all. And it's not his will that any should perish, but that all would come back to him and have eternal life. I plead the blood of Jesus. So I want to thank you for watching. I'm Evangelist Talitha Kumi. I'm not out of love, I'm just out of time. Make sure you join me on Periscope every Sunday night at 8 to 8.30. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram. God loves all of you. But my title tonight is called Cry Loud and Spare Not. We're definitely in the end times and somebody's got to do it. I love you. Be blessed. Until next time.